We begin on your side tonight as we are several weeks into the new school year and some districts continue to look for ways to minimize the impact of those staffing shortages from the classroom to the school bus. Some families in the Richland School District 2 reached out to us about what they say is the lack of available seating on buses with the claims of students sitting on the floor. We sent our Zoe Henry in search of answers. Calling it a safety concern, Richland two parents whose children are school bus riders contacted us with claims of school bus overcrowding. They claim that some students on the school buses are having to sit on the floor instead of in seats for the ride to and in some cases from school. The parents said they were not comfortable appearing on camera in fear of retaliation. But their claims were enough for us to reach out to the school district to ask about their concerns. Richland 2 Chief of Operations, Will Anderson. It could have, could someone have not been in a seat? I, it's possible um, without reviewing uh, the camera footage. Um, but again, you've got you know upwards of 75 to 80 kids in the bus um, and the driver is, uh, could they start a three to a seat before the driver pulled off? Could, yes, and then could, could is it possible a child got out of the seat during the drive? possible. Yes. Anderson says there are a few issues and he cites two specific reasons for them. The first is lack of student registration for the bus routes. And so, for example, we may have set a route up uh, on the first day of school that had 50 kids and they go and do their stops and there's 75 kids. Anderson says no child gets left behind, even if they show up without registering for that route. He says a solution is changing or adding bus routes. Gotten more buses to move routes around or gotten different things squared away so that we shouldn't have an issue, don't, shouldn't have any or don't have any issues with, with that happening. The other issue that Anderson cites is the shortage of school bus drivers. He says there aren't enough to send multiple buses to one stop. So one bus might have to make multiple trips. What the bus driver shortage affects them getting to school on time. Um, and so that bus, if we have, 100 kids in a neighborhood, what's going to ha have to happen is that driver's going to have to go pick up 50 for, per se, drop them off and go get the other 50. Anderson says the district abides by capacity laws on buses, which are based on student age, student size, and bus size. He says these issues are being addressed and should be resolved. In Columbia, Zoe Henry, News 19, WLTX.